Hey everybody, Drew here from Pelicars. Super excited to bring you guys this gorgeous 2017 Prius. It is the three trim level with the touring package and it's got 125,905 miles on it. It came up from Southern Pennsylvania, so it's good and rust free underneath, which is awesome. It looks and drives and runs like a brand new car with only a couple little cosmetic flaws, which I wanna go over with you guys. Um, it's got like a couple stone chips in the hood. Not sure you can see those, but they're there. Um, the wheels, which are really cool, They're, it's an aluminum alloy wheel, the black part, and then it has these clad uh, pieces that are snapped into it from the back. You, you can see if you take the wheel off, you know what I mean. Uh, it's got a little bit of scratching and discoloration on the clads on this one. Um, front tires and brakes are excellent. Uh, side of the car here, it's got a little scratch like on the mirror there, a little scratch right there. That one might buff off, I'm not sure yet. Um, the back, uh, same thing, little imperfection on the wheel here. It does need new tires in the back, and there's a couple different choices, so we'll go over that when you're here in person. Um, you know, don't want to choose for you kind of thing. Back brakes are excellent as well. Um, the back, so from like a normal distance, 100% perfect. If you get up close, there's a couple, you know, little chips on the edge there from like cargo or whatever, getting stuff in and out of the back. Um, other than that, it's perfect. Um, the back, same thing, little imperfection on the wheel here. Uh, and on this door, little chip, little scratch here, and a little scratch there. Very minor. Uh, I'll show you underneath, again, being a southern Pennsylvania car, it is spotless under there. All still, you know, black, little, you know, little tiny bits of surface rust here and there, but certainly nothing like a Rochester 2017. It's more like a Rochester 2020 or 2021. We bring most of our cars, most of which are Prius, because we love them. We bring most of them in from, you know, areas that aren't too far away, three, four, five hundred miles, but don't use the salt that Rochester uses and Buffalo uses. So we get much cleaner cars. Inside, just about perfect. Um, there's a couple cosmetic flaws, again, which we'll go over, and then we'll go over the features. First and foremost, there's this little mark there and there, which is like, a, I guess, a little bit of wear or delamination of this piano black feature here. There is some discoloration on the headliner, which is kind of tough to see, and I could not get it out, unfortunately. I don't know if it's from cargo or, or you know, maybe they had like a dog that rode in here or something like that. Not sure, but a little bit of discoloration. Speaking of which, no odors whatsoever in the car. Um, and other than that, yeah, it's perfect in here. So I'm going to go over some of the features with you. If I miss any, I apologize. And if this gets long-winded, I also apologize. But this vehicle is absolutely incredible. First and foremost, what impressed me the most, it has... I'd say it's about 80% self-driving. So it's not like a Tesla. It's by no means going to, you know, literally drive you, um, you know, to and from work kind of thing. But it, it does have a partially self-driving feature where if you set the cruise control at, say, 70 miles per hour and the person in front of you slows down to 60, it's going to slow down and follow them. A Tesla, of course, would put on its blinker, pass them, and then merge back over. Um, this doesn't do that, but it does follow. If the person in front of you comes to a complete stop, like say you're going from like Victor to Churchville on 490 and you go through rush hour traffic, the person in front of you slows down to a stop. This car will slow all the way down to a stop and then, you know, follow them as they stop and go. And, you know, once traffic's clear, it'll pick back up to the speed you set. So in theory, you can drive this, for, you know, the entire length of 490, you know, without, ever touching the brake or the gas. You know, again, in theory, it does have its limitations. Like again, it won't, you know, get over and pass somebody for you. So if somebody in front of you is going like 50 and you want to be going 70, you need to, you know, put your blinker on merge and, you know, pass them yourself. It does self-steer a little bit. So I couldn't get it you know, I drove this car. I probably put like 400 miles on it. I've, I've loved it. I actually hate to put it for sale, but um, it if you're if you're driving and you have the lane departure on, it will correct the steering a little bit, but not consistently and not enough where you could just kind of tap the wheel every once in a while and have it totally drive for you. But it does actually put inputs into the steering wheel, which is really cool. Uh, it also has that feature where it warns you if you're about to rear end somebody, and in theory, it should stop you from doing that. And speaking of which, it's a very safe car. It has tons of airbags, one, two, um, curtain airbags, side airbags, uh, very, very well appointed safety wise. It has traction control, anti-lock brakes and vehicle stability control. 
Uh, the last of which the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety stated in 2006, actually, that if every car on the road had that, there'd be 10,000 less fatalities per year in single car crashes. So obviously that's a really important feature. It helps keep the car on the road once you've exceeded its, um, you know, its handling capabilities, if that makes sense. So if you, you know, if the car is out of control, it cuts throttle, taps individual brakes on individual wheels and keeps you from going off the road. Very good technology. So, um, it also has automatic high beams. So if you turn the high beams on, I would say in my experience with the car, about 96, 97% of the time, it knows when high beams should and should not be on. And it does accordingly, which is awesome. As you see here, it's got navigation, it's got, um, traffic, it's got, a very, very intuitive navigation system. The audio system is what really impressed me. So I'm going to do something I've never done in one of these videos before and actually turn on the radio. Um, so this station is actually from Buffalo, which I'm going to go ahead and actually pause the live radio, which is incredible, right? That station from Buffalo would not come in in any other car I have. That is because this has an amplified high-definition FM antenna, which is, again, mind-blowing. So the audio quality in the FM radio is, is similar to, like, Bluetooth streaming. You know, it, it's, it does not sound like the radio. It's very, very clear. And, again, that station's from Buffalo, 50, 60, 70 miles away, depending on what part of Buffalo. And I have the, the live radio paused right now, so I'm able to... Hit play on that. And then if you hit live, you're back to where the radio station actually is. So you can actually pause, rewind, and if you've paused and rewound enough, you can fast forward live radio, which is really cool. Of course, it has Bluetooth streaming audio. It does have a cell phone charger here, so if your phone has the technology like mine does, mine's a like a three-year-old iPhone 11 or whatever, if I set my phone here, it actually charges my phone for me with no cable, which is awesome. You know, you got to set down your phone anyways. It's charging, which is super cool. Um, nice cold AC, nice hot heat. It does not have heated seats. So this is vegan, uh, ultra low VOC polyvinyl chloride vegan leather. So it's like the most premium, you know, not leather leather you can get. It's what's in like Lexus and Mercedes and stuff like that. It's not heated. Just wanted you to know that the uh, steering wheel, which is also not heated is vegan leather as well. And for what it's worth to you, the, um, all the plastics in these Prius, they're ultra low VOC. So a lot of the, uh, carcinogenic and toxic chemicals that radiate off a dashboard in, in the hot sun. Uh, this is dramatically less than the average car, which is really cool. So, um, we've gone over the flaws. We've gone over the features. I want to take you guys out on the road again, without sounding cliche, this car, it literally drives like a brand new car. The acceleration, um, which is dramatically more uh, powerful than a uh, 2010 to 2015 Prius. Um, the acceleration's phenomenal. It's very smooth. Um, the other thing I've noticed, I can't quantify exactly how much, but this does a lot more speed on EV only mode. I've seen the EV, if you look at that little, um, that little outline of that green car there, when that is fully green and says EV, of course that means that you, like right now, see that? That means that my engine's off. So the old Prius couldn't do that above like 45 or 46 miles per hour, somewhere in there. Uh, 48, I think, on the 2015. This one, I've seen it do it all the way up to 63 miles per hour, which is incredible. Um, during the weeks that I drove this car, I was averaging 50.9 miles per gallon. And while I'm a Prius lover, a big, big, big time Prius lover, I don't obsess over gas mileage. Uh, I did try to see how much I could get out of it, and I got like 86 driving around a village. Um, and now that I've reset it and have been, you know, letting it run and uh, stuff like that while I detail it and take this video and stuff, it's down to about 48 or 50, something like that. Extremely fuel efficient. Um, no one's behind me here, so I'm going to get on the brakes. As you see, my hands are off the wheel. It brakes perfectly. Um, you know, again, drives perfectly smooth other than those back tires, which again, they're going to be replaced. Just want to talk to you about, you know, exactly what, what type of tires you want before we do. Uh, other than those, it's 100% ready to go mechanically. And again, an absolute delight to drive. So anyways, my name's Drew. This is the 2007 Prius, excuse me, 2017 Prius 3 Touring. Very excited about it. If you are and you want to drive it, just reach out. You can do so through the website, www.pellacars.com. 
or just reach out directly, 585-771-0111. Would love to meet you and have you test drive it. Also, if you want to be notified when we post more cars, which um, we're getting close to 50 Prius for the year, which is awesome. If you want to be notified when we post more, just go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. The only thing we use it for is posting these videos, so you won't be bothered with anything else, just notified when we post a new car. So anyways, I'm Drew. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.